so max the rest. You probably know you can get slow down here, right? But did you know in a turbojet aircraft, it's actually pretty easy to get slow up here. And it all comes down to temperature and the way a jet engine manufactures its power. They're actually a lot more sensitive to temperature and density changes than your reciprocating engine. And here's why. First of all, imagine how a jet engine generates thrust. It takes air, compresses it to get it as dense as possible, and then it heats it. And as it heats it, that air expands, pushing the jet forward. And so the jet engine's power is dependent on how much it can heat the air and how dense that air is. So if the air is warm, it's less dense. So therefore, there's less air to expand, there's less air to put fuel into, and so therefore, warmer air generally means your jet's gonna generate less power. And there's a second problem. Your jet's limited by the temperature of the air hitting the turbine section after it leaves the combustion chamber. In fact, that air's already so hot that it can melt those turbine blades. They're just being protected by the engine's cooling system. So if you have warm air entering the engine, it can't heat it as much as if there was cold air entering the engine. Okay, so all this comes down to temperature during your climb and temperature at altitude. Early turbojet airplanes oftentimes cruised very close to Coffin Corner. It's a place where if they went any faster, they would end up in a mock buffet, essentially supersonic flow starting to buffet the wing. But because their stalling speed gets faster as you go higher in altitude, any slower, and those aircraft would end up in a stall buffet. Today's airplanes are generally thrust limited, which simply means at altitude, the engine can't always generate enough thrust to maintain your selected cruise speed. And if you're not paying attention, the engine will end up at full thrust and you'll start slowing down. And then you'll find out where that stall buffet is. So why would this happen? Well, imagine you're climbing and you end up in a temperature inversion. Now the temperature starts to go up. If you don't realize it, you could easily end up in a situation where your engine's thrust can't keep you at climb speed. Or you're in cruise, you cross a front or into a new air mass, and all of a sudden the temperature rises. You won't notice anything visually, you won't feel it, but you'll start to see your speed tape slow down. Now, again, your engine can't generate enough thrust to keep you at cruise speed. So how do you recover? Well, first of all, you are wanna add maximum continuous thrust. Now, usually at cruise speeds, you're not operating at full power. So get the throttles up. And then number two, you're probably going to have to descend. Your airplane probably can't cruise at the altitude you've selected. You're gonna to have to find something a little bit cooler or lower. So how would you ever know something like this? Well, you'll learn it in your ATP CTP course, which you'll take right before type training in a regional airline. And if you're ready to start an airline career, check out ExpressJet. They provided the sims and the content for this story. They're an awesome place to start an airline career. If you wanna see more content like this, click subscribe. We'll have more stuff coming in the near future.